If you have a graphics card, you'll probably want to use it to render inside of Blender. I'll hit F12 to fire a render, and I know this is using my CPU, because it's set to CPU here, and in the render window you can see 8 squares that represent each core of the processor. In real time, this render took 11 minutes 21 to complete. To use the graphics card, you first want to set this to GPU Compute, then I'll open up my user preferences by pressing Ctrl Alt U and navigate to the System tab. Under Cycle's Compute Device, select CUDA, yours might say OpenCL, and make sure your graphics card is checked before saving the user settings. Now when I render, notice there's only one square but it's moving much faster and in real time this render only took 2 minutes 40 to complete. If you have a strong CPU you can actually set Blender to use both, but to do this you need to download one of Blender's latest builds of Blender 2.79, which I'll link to in the description. Then in your user preferences you'll find this extra selection for your CPU. Now when I render you'll notice there's 9 squares, 8 for the CPU and 1 for the GPU. Notice now that this was rendered in just 1 minute 15. However it's worth noting that rendering with both won't always be as quick and can in fact be slower than rendering using only the GPU. This depends on what you're rendering, your render settings and how fast your processor is, so just bear that in mind. If you enjoyed this tutorial and wish to support me, I have a Gumrod and Patreon page linked in the description below. My Gumrod store has a bunch of different tutorial packages at affordable prices and each sale really helps me to continue to make free tutorials like this one.